I haven't done this in a while. Uh, today I'm going to play you an audio recording. Let me demonstrate to you. This is the audio recording that relates to the Chariots, which I purchased the other day. In fact, July 11, 2023, that was like... These are morning hours of uh, July 15 life. Okay, let's say evening hours of July 11, three, four days ago. Uh, in the morning, I told my mom, happy, uh, that I got this exclusive MK Ultra item uh, for which police officers guaranteed me that it would play the difference not only police officers but everyone involved in MK Ultra that it would be item which would play the difference for me in life and death if I wouldn't get what you see right there that it would be pretty much the end of it for me they encouraged me to even look for the cherries all the way to Celje, Ljubljana and Celje. Uh, this item they sell in a Hofer store. Uh, cherries, kidneys, cirrhosis, anemia with the kidneys. This was the information I got. If you don't save yourself, uh, with this purchase which will give you another maybe will purchase you maybe another two three months of life uh, you will not make it through for me it's really bad before I start this video maybe it is something that I feel that uh, I'm gonna mark this like not suitable for the children if you want whatever uh, video but uh, for me this is the situation for the last you know, eight months uh, it's very possible that my problem is related to the spleen this is what Joe Biden was even talking to me about they were very very secretive did not discuss and it just happened. I don't want to go and uh, uh, drag this for too long because video is about something else. Time, but right. what you see right here, this is a blood, you know. It's blood. I'm bleeding actually. And this bleeding was done since early stages of MK Ultra. They, they did accomplish this. And the only thing they did is they turned this into a chronic problem. They were repeating this, repeating this through the poisoning, repeating till uh, it became, appears to me like a permanent problem. I don't know how this situation is going to evolve. This is for the last eight months. Physicians who examined me at the General Hospital of told me, if you're going to go walking, to the hospital I already gained and I didn't understand anything but the drinking and uh, drinking water and walking was a must for me to stay alive according to MK Ultra recipe just lately I learned about other issues uh, pertaining to MK Ultra so that finally I know what they have done to me more or less um, when you walk on a distance when you have one hour to the hospital and if you drink the water along the way you're going to clean the urine and the exam it will not look like this even that you are suffering from a problem like this that is basically what I was trying to say and the item that I have purchased supposedly would guarantee me even recovery it would even purchase me a few months of life extra, according to the police officers, who would feed me with these cherries, even inside of their own homes, uh, demonstrated me cherries inside of, they posed next to the cherries at the stores, at the local stores, 
uh, buying this kind of cherries on other locations, uh, used other people, such as his boyfriend from the police officer who was holding the car, for example, it was more than that, who would purchase at once about exactly the amount of cherries that you see here I purchased. Well, let me see if I can okay here from this video you can see it's more than 50 jars of cherries I purchased so that's a lot of cherries uh, then they would bring them home to us uh, during MK Ultra and would do exactly what you see here put the numbers on them too like this uh, take the date and time and also read the code the code which is uh, posted on the side uh, for every for every jar for every can you have a store code so that uh, why so that why so what what is it with this shit here what is with this stuff here uh, with this stuff this this goes all the way to Moscow. This stuff goes all the way to Vladimir Putin, where the British royals would go. It would always be hosted inside of the apartments in Moscow from at the daughters of Vladimir Putin or at the Vladimir Putin's location. Always, where they would also demonstrate me on how I have to do exactly what you have seen right here. With Vladimir Putin demonstrating this, in front of the daughters and then handing the job to the daughters which they would start to traumatize me with this kind of issues and so on and back and forth Milan Kuchan dreamed about it didn't stop there Vladimir Putin talked enormously a lot about exactly the procedure I have demonstrated you here and it didn't stop here. It went on with the police threatening also how they would poison uh, inside of the refrigerator, the stuff and so on. Once they're going to fuck me already somehow and this and that and back and forth. It was not about Kuchan only. This was the stuff that went on also in the waters of Janez Jansha, Loise Peterle. Dmitry Rupel and other people that hated me just as much as Vladimir Putin, probably more. These are the people that seek personal assurance from Joe Biden due to crime they committed against me upon Slovenian independence. This is a very, very political subject uh, because of what you have seen. I've used a very unique opportunity to purchase myself these cherries. These cherries were very cheap, actually. It was like 1 euro and 12 cents per jar. These are, what is it, seven, 720 milliliter jars. They're pretty big. They're not exactly one liter, but this is very decent when you want to have cherries that you can have cherries. Uh, and because of this brainwash, because of this kind of stuff that went on, uh, I have committed the last dimes I had for exactly what you see here. These are not drugs, these are not cigarettes, these are not... It's food, right? It does qualifies for the food, right? So the mother gets up same day at 5 o'clock in the morning, which she never does, and she wants to make sure that one more time before I would go sleep would psychologically assault me. Well, she was doing this all the time all the time she was this this was her kitchen this was the type of the kitchen this is what we are talking about this was the stuff that went on all the time all the time since beginning of the time she was uh, owner of this house she was owner of my life and i don't think frankly that she sees me as a human being i do not believe that I present in her eyes a human being. Uh, this post is related to the post which I posted on my website. 
in respect to blueberries this is the post right here uh, it was July the 12th 2022 I'll be honest with you I had enough of it um, I believe that the circumstances under which I have I was raped into completion of this project is Joe Biden's circumstances this Bidenomics you know Bidenomics are not justified from any point of view. I don't think that anybody in my situation uh, should, be, that... should be completing the project like this, like this, like an animal without a dime being basically scorned, ridiculed by the mainstream media, which was involved in torture and such, uh, for me to basically to watch me basically is, do you think this shit is good? Even if I get away with it, Without the surgery, I'm going to tell you that it did have impact on my heart, it did have impact on my liver, it did have impact, severe impact on my lymph nodes. You don't fucking prove anything with this. If not less, you shortened my life. And if not less, there is no way to explain what it means to sleep every day, four hours a day. And even during those four hours a day that you have something you can hear all the time is burning your liver basically the sound like like you would be standing next to loud dam there is no justification for this kind of brutality from joe biden and even less from my own what i refer to as a mother my mother did came to conclusion because she did expected absolutely everything Yes, they inspected absolutely everything. Now, I'm going to stop here a little bit, turn the camera on. They did rape me with exactly the chairs that you see right there. In other words, they compelled me to eat large amounts of these cherries. Uh, it was so much cherries they made me eat that... Eventually, I became sick, I suffered tremendous diarrhea, and they continued to force down my throat exactly the chairs that you have seen during MKUltra, where they were doing exactly the same procedure with the garlic. Till the blood would come out, they would force with the garlic, with the onion, with the vitamins, with substances which you hopefully would use for you to recuperate yourself. In other words, they were using what should be medication really to intensify injuries which they have created through the poison. In fact, for these cherries, I remember that especially my stomach was extremely, extremely resistant and have tolerated them more than what it tolerated the stomachs from other people because they tested them on other people the amount and they developed diarrhea and stuff problems constipation very quickly and i did not i was a very healthy person until these people came along so my mother came to realize during mk ultra that these cherries which are not natural of course these are cherries processed stuff it's not as natural, it's not as healthy, are eventually going to do even according to their measurements damage to me. But the thing is that I did not recall any of this stuff. And if I was in a situation again, I would have done exactly the same thing. I feel really happy, good about purchasing those cherries. Why have I gone and purchased all those cherries? Because the two jars of these cherries that I ate, totally totally the, the first two jars totally totally stopped uh the sound that's basically anemia i think it's anemia anemia 
whatever it is is it spleen is it is it liver is it kidney is it something else i do not know uh, i have written about injections they were giving me during nk ultra and so on but this is all i can tell you so but the thing about it is that you know um, what you're about to hear is extremely disturbing when you consider uh, that this crime in which my mother personally was involved went on for no less than 48 years uh, the way she responded to my you know I was so happy I, 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 I wanted to say we have cherries and so on you know we, we have cherries uh, I was trying to normalize the relationship as much as possible I'm trying to see not the stuff she does because if I would write about everything he would be too much to write about I would write about her way too much but the approach the abuse the stress she decided is gonna let me have that morning before the sleep decided uh, made me understand that this is it this is the end of it this is um, this is this is this is a utter disrespect for my life it was disrespect for my life which according to my eye uh, views my mother during mk ultra came to me later claimed to me this chair is not even good and this and that i am gonna if you will do something like this i am gonna scream at you and do stuff like this to you um On the garden, you have blueberries and you have another one, another fruit you have. That's good. That's healthy for you. I am going to leave you uh, the pan of the blueberries on the, uh, on the, in the kitchen. And there will be two cents in front of them. One from me and one from your sister. Uh, these are our two cents for you a little from us something a little from us so that you can survive and this and that you know you should uh, very this was a very very wrong approach because her daughter became an expert for electroconvulsive therapy ect uh, not licensed though but she enjoyed nothing more than electroshock my brain during MK Ultra sessions and upon the end of every MK Ultra sessions. At times, those electroshocking sessions reached unbearable pain, uh, during which I would squeak, uh, I would say scream, yell. Uh, it's impossible to even explain the physical injury, the pain that I would suffer. Uh, that's my niece, Urska Golob Weber. I have written here the names of these people. Uh, and you don't take this kind of approach toward somebody that you chopped for 48 years. Uh, it's extremely disrespectful. Uh, it's wrong. This kind of a binomics, Joe Bidenomics, are wrong. I, we are not going to agree with this kind of violence. And so I decided that my mother, as much as I wanted to protect her and father, will have to go and talk to police about this issue. She will have to be interrogated by the police. I was trying my best to prevent this because I don't feel about I didn't feel about that stuff well. Uh, it's a lot of stuff these this people, I frankly, I don't trust them. Uh, it's my mother, but this kind of approach toward me, uh, for which she directly even was used to amplify, intensify one, through delivery of poison inside of the fridge, which was used to boost this kind of injuries, bleeding injuries, yes, this is all this shit is all rehearsed from MK Ultra. I don't know how much I have explained about this issue. I don't know how much I have explained about this issue, yes. Uh, but I did post the link on April 
how I was poisoned according to MK Ultra scenario. And it's what I was told by the police. I was told that if you're gonna be sitting and typing on a computer, you're gonna have, once it's gonna grab you this stuff, you're gonna have about maybe one minute, two minutes to get in your bed. If you will not do this, the chances are that your liver, your kidneys are going to explode. Do you fucking understand what I'm talking about? This is a military grade poison. All right? You don't fucking understand what I'm trying to say. And that kind of poison is going to fucking kill you. If you're a healthy person, you have about a minute, two minutes to get in the bed, lay down, or drink water, start detoxification of the body, or you will simply drop dead. Those were boosters. It was said to me by Prince Harry, by Prince William, by British royals, by Americans, that's all going to depend on me. That's all going to be about what you're going to eat, how you're going to exercise, how you're going to, whatever you're going to do. And they said it's going to be poison here, poison there, and it's your job. Lukashenko said that. Putin said it's your job that you're going to find where the poison is and stuff like this. Yeah, that's a game of forced unemployment. As... Peter Kopsch, psychiatrist, stated, we all do something, and unfortunately, you will also have to do something. So, all right. Uh, not so much about me, but it's about other issues. Um, I don't have anything else to say in, in respect to this issue. I called my mother names uh, in 2013, based on which psychiatrists have uh, taken action against me. Uh, father have uh, claimed some crazy issues that I was involved in. Uh, he was sure I was talking to the people in language which he doesn't even speak or understand, all kinds of stuff at night, using a hearing aid. Uh, I don't understand how they did this stuff. Theoretically, it would be impossible. Uh, it was accusations from my family based on which I was thrown inside of the psychiatric hospital. Basically, my family did everything possible to get me liquidated. In other words, murdered. Uh, that stuff was used for some other stuff. Look, uh, I lost my patience with a family like this. This is an ultimate disrespect. Uh, it's a disrespect for my life. Will not tolerate this and will demand police interrogation will not let mother absolutely anywhere till she will give a full confession about this stuff. As much as I tried to not see it, not do this, keep her safe, keep her away, provide for her as much as possible uh, witnessing testimony that would be uh, beneficial maybe to her existence I only managed to go that far. Um, I complained about the mother's cooking in 2013. Um, I say to her that she is not my mom. Um, they stated that I'm insane. And, uh, you know, my mom cooked, you know, food, she did stuff. What bothered me is that she had a total derision with the father for uh, what went on. And did, they were doing absolutely everything possible to drive me insane, to cause, me, to cause a real domestic violence inside of the home. They were doing anything possible with the TV blasting, with challenging, bullying. Uh, in MK Ultra scenarios, uh, the stuff these people did is impossible to even describe. Uh, and 
came against me with uh, such a issues that a semi-normal person uh, it, it wouldn't even cross your mind you know in other words what I'm trying to say is my mother did not have and father did not have absolutely any respect for my life um, they were never ready to discuss any of these issues with me I don't want them to discuss any of these issues with me mother claimed means she will never admit anything to anybody not to police and then no confession or nothing she's she is uh, maybe I'm pretty sure that uh, psychiatrists that were involved such as Tatiana Prokshar who handled her Peter Kapsch was the one that gave that advice Tatiana Prokshar they they turned her into a lot of people would refer to that as a lunatic but uh, you know the characteristics it, it was toxic it was toxic stuff they were preparing her to even take her life and all kinds of stuff like this uh, but never you know like depicting like ultimate evil that you know never you know, like in a way surrender and stuff like this 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 definitely was not my mother I'm afraid she does not even understand the relationship between her and me in real time uh, and the binomics this kind of binomics uh, that doesn't work for me like this 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 is not the way it works uh, what I you know resent my mother the most is what she stated to me during MK Ultra and that was that repeatedly that I closed myself inside of the room suffering from depression uh, would not even go out in the garden and eat fruit and stuff like this uh, she used to even take pleasure in gesturing me that probably during this last two three years she will be like this like I was my entire life basically ridiculing me uh, which is like in particular particularly insultive uh, to tell somebody that you have ousted from the family surroundings uh, did all that kind of stuff uh, it's disturbing it's extremely extremely disturbing but unfortunately we have to deal with that kind of stuff so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and play you this audio recording so that you can hear this audio uh, and uh, what I'm gonna do is then what I will do is I will get this audio translated this audio is of course in Slovenian language bear with it it's going to be about three maybe even four minutes long it's extremely important for me because from this point on it's a big thing for me my mother and I definitely parted my mother will have to confess entire thing to the police um, it, they put in my mother all kinds of issues all kinds of stuff um, I will I am not willing and from this point and on I'm not even willing anything anymore to even whether she would have anything to say to me she acknowledged me always as mentally ill whenever I mentioned the word MK Ultra or whenever I gesture her she is repeating the stuff I beg her to stop doing the stuff to stop bullying the stuff and repeating from MK Ultra drive me insane the same with the father and uh, it did not work I, I just uh, tried my best I understand that you uh, even that maybe you have to do because of the police that that you know for whatever reason that you have to do that you maybe feel life threatened whatever it is that's not a case long ago already not for my mother not for my father not for my sister not for anybody <laughs> I am globally known the results for the Alsa times were known in, in a billion if you would go on Google <laughs> I'm an exclusive person that Google have removed all the results from the search engines and stuff like this obviously they never did anything like this for anybody and this is a 48 four, four eight, two years short of 50 years 
long NK Ultra case that uh, you will not go and confess to your son and help him out and do your best to stop this shit. Uh, you're just gonna have to deal with me, but through the police. I will step on the toes of the persecution of the police, and then it's up to you how you're gonna how you're gonna function with that. Um, based on that kind of issues and what we're going to be talking about other circumstances that apply to the people like this. They told me that once that's going to happen, I am never going to see my mother. Um, but the thing is that I will because in this country, I am the jury. I'm a prosecutor and I am a jury and I am a police officer. Don't forget this. And it will apply, trust me, it will apply to the United Nations Assembly as well. There is nobody out there that's going to come and say, oh, we're going to do this and we're going to... There's just nobody. It's a very different case. It's weird. It's strange stuff that happened. But that's the way it's going to be. Let's go to the audio recording and... Actually, if I translate, hi, mommy, good morning, how are you? Uh, why are you not sleeping? How come that you're not sleeping? You know, it's, uh, it's surprising that my mother got up uh, that morning at no less than uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to plug uh, all your phones at this point in my ears. going to repeat this stuff so that I see it's working. Hi, mommy. I'm up on the stage. Hi. To cook up in the stage. So we are prepared to see some small I said it's, it's five o'clock in the morning when you got up. That was uh, already but the morning hours of July the 12th, 2023. She said uh, it's about to be six o'clock. That's not, that's bullshit. That's not true. I changed the subject. I don't want to have a problem with her. I don't want to have a conflict so early in the morning. Uh, the agreement between me and my mother was that if I purchased something food-wise, that she would reimburse me financially. Uh, this has just not happened. It, 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 it did happen, but for many things it didn't. Now, this was a big investment in food. So I said to her, you know, uh, my health improved enormously yes and i think it is important that i take you to uh july 11 uh actually july 12 it's here uh and Well, July 12th, um, it appeared to me at least that I am going to somehow get myself out of this struggle. That, unfortunately, you know, just like with the garlic, just like with the uh, onion, just like, let's say, with a liver, like with a chicken liver, and I prepare myself. Uh, it doesn't go on a long term. It doesn't function on a long term. The first two jars that I ate was really good. But then all this stuff, it again started to trouble, which I have to, ex you know, change something. There's something, some ingredient is missing. 
Uh, they poisoned with these cherries. They also poisoned with the liver and chicken liver. And chicken liver is as healthy as it gets for my problem. How did they poison with the chicken liver? They did not fry, they did not cook, they did not prepare enough. So they incited in my eating raw, half raw meat. They demanded for me to eat with the blood stuff and so on. They, this is a good stuff. This was all healthy stuff, but the way they prepared they misused everything in greater quantities when it comes to potato i did not demonstrate it to you my mother compelled me to eat half dry potato full mold and even rotten and stuff like this which you would not want to go and eat of course but and again, you're missing the healthiest part. When it comes to the chicken, the chicken during MK Ultra was on many occasions prepared as rotten, would have a heavy smell. Uh, and my mother in real time did only one time inside of the fridge, just basically to remind me of what went on during MK Ultra. Let's continue. So I told her my health improved big time. I bought cherries, which do you know, she already knows before I even fucking come home because they communicate with people. Um, we're gonna stop this a little bit, like this. You know what Bluetooth is, I'm sure. You know what wireless, Wi-Fi, uh, audio phones, that kind of stuff is, and even implants, I'm sure you do know about that kind of stuff. Well, I am just gonna give you a little short story about um, the guy from uh, what is it from New York and he's in Los Angeles he's a big big star next to Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone whose name right now is not going to get to me uh, it's a big movie actor uh, who played uh, you know I, I just don't I'm not into this movies and stuff like this, but um, I think he played Hulk or something like this. Hulk, um, a giant guy, uh, and uh, he's got a beautiful daughter, Italian guy. Uh, so the story about this guy in respect to his hearing problem I'm going to give you is extremely, extremely short. He was deaf his entire life. Yeah? Uh, his case looked completely helpless. It looked like he will remain deaf forever using like hearing aid and stuff like regular stuff. Uh, and that stuff was not even of assistance to him very much. Uh, and then uh, I saw him in 2020 or so that he started on a Facebook to advertise the cochlear implant. It's called the cochlear implant. And the cochlear implant, you know, uh, they implant you something inside of your uh, channel, uh, ear channel, that on a bone, something like this, that makes you hear just like you would, you know, you would probably maybe even better than what you would need, uh, you know, you would hear otherwise, yeah. And, uh, you know, he started to advertise this in 2020 on a Facebook, something like this. The thing is, he had this technology, 
he obtained this technology through this case. This was a Swiss company that Angela Merkel contacted for this guy and they worked with him, they were developing this, this stuff and they already made him an implant. Uh, at the year when he got his first implant might have been as early as 2008. 2008. Uh, and they were playing back and forth with that stuff and then they eventually changed him and he got his last masterpiece that I don't think that, that they, they ever upgraded anything in 2012. He stated me that I have to be silent, keep quiet, never say anything about this because he noticed that people around him uh, who not knew uh, and were disrespectful and did not know about this kind of implant had their own uh, conversations around him uh, and opposed to his past when he was helpless uh, this no longer was the case so what kind of technology is being used to communicate uh, with my mom and with my dad and how it all works uh, I don't know uh, this is definitely not a cochlear implant or something like that uh, but psychiatrist Peter Kapschen police gestured me they would be using something else to even communicate, do other kind of stuff. I don't know if my mother is. Uh, I don't know what 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 what's going on with all this stuff. I do not know, and I don't want to say anything. Uh, and if I would say something, I wouldn't have proof for this kind of stuff. I have noticed that my father does not like the hearing aid if I offer him. Uh, and that I am certain could be of a big trouble if you have something else you can hear and somebody gives you something like that it can be very very disturbing my mom knew 100% just like for everything else what I just did All right, make no fucking mistake about it So, I bought cherries, I went, I visited both stores yesterday, uh, so I told my mom that my health improved uh, and after I ate those cherries I went to the store and I purchased 50 jars of these cherries more. Uh, you could hear the type of uh, voice my mother had used. Uh, she says she does she screams basically this is bullshit uh, she says for what I'm concerned you could buy them hundred uh, I yelling at me screaming at me she says I eat whatever grows at home and whatever is it that you are going to purchase is what you will have to pay out of your own pocket. Let's do this again. Uh, she says 
for your own money you can spend as much as you want but for my money you're not going to be buying anything you know uh, I told her go ahead uh, and eat yourself I told her I told her you even went and you chopped the tree even the tree that was a strong tree healthy cherry tree next to the house which never would be the tree that would freeze and uh, the cherries always stayed on that tree if all other trees failed that tree would not and according to MK Ultra scenario my mother have stated me and father no, actually father did not in respect to the cherry tree mother did uh, even the cherry tree that you have I'm going to chop down okay look at me good now see that's why I said that my mom is gonna have to talk to police about this stuff not to me um, I ran uh, extremely high on emotions like this and uh, the most dangerous about all this stuff is that I could forget myself and did what 99.99999% of the people would this shit has been going on for so long it's so violent uh, using abusing absolutely any opportunity to get on you to try to get physical feedback that it's it, it also collects you know it, it actually it accumulates is what I'm trying to say uh, she is always being like this um, the idea was to get something out of me to you know and uh, it's not about the two cents that you have seen right there she chopped the tree the cherry tree deliberately upon my return from Poland it didn't stop with the tree she chopped it's called Ribes exactly according to MK Ultra my mother stated I am even going to chop these are uh, trees like this the trees like this like a little trees of this stuff I am going to chop them down all of them they are healthy but you will not have them so why did she let the blueberries which my sister planted because they're healthy and because it's my sister and my sister and my niece were involved in Mount Everest of genocide against me so the two cents that she placed next to the dish do have a tremendous cost and a cost come to me because of Joe Biden in more than just four cents you don't do the stuff like this and try to reverse and revert and all that stuff and do all that kind of stuff um, she came as much as close that she came to the physical altercation that morning was by my showing her like this finger because I wanted to see no actually I wanted to feel her that she accomplished something and it's going to be something and this and that and then the only thing I did was say bye bye and that was it uh, in the evening hours however I stressed her in the face that she's a dog I stressed her in the face that she is a, that she's not my mother that she never was my mother she never will be I have nothing to do with her and we'll get her into police in other words I sort of did what I did in 2013 when I was thrown inside a psychiatric hospital but I did not place the finger on her the reason I did this is because 
she will never get whatever whatever they, whatever they might do with her she will never get what she deserved this is a criminal that has no respect for my life this is about disrespect she has no respect for my life this is a shark this is a coyote this is a wolf basically doesn't have any kind of regrets she's gonna tear meat she's gonna tear your soul apart as long as she will be capable and she did so she's 86 my father is 91 none of the two had any kind of regrets none of the two had the face to look at me in my eyes and say you know I'm sorry it was like this uh, this is a hardcore criminal all the way to the end now I am going to try to help to both of my parents I just need these people to understand that whatever the fuck is it that I do that I'm being nice that I try to help is basically exactly it it's to help I don't have any kind of expectations from the two and after 48 years of this I refuse to receive the any kind of confession admission from any of the two as I stated they're just gonna have to do that for me through the police I have the police to we'll talk to the police officers I'm going to ask, demand certain procedures, questions to be implemented, answers on those, and that's how basically we're going to communicate. That's basically it's where it all ends. Um, never placed finger on my mom. Uh, I never placed finger on my dad. If I would have had, it would have been like a neighbor here. This is a son from Miroslav Berger, that's actually attorney. Alenka Berger, that's attorney. Miroslav Berger, attorney. And they have a son. One son is Alex, the other one is Marco. It was Marco who was involved in MK Ultra since my age, probably, since my age, probably seven and because he was an older kid they would involve other kids from the school and this just happened to be one of the kids uh, and he was the one who was demonstrating me like in real time uh, how you get on somebody uh, that you start to punch him and you never stop and they used to call him during MK Ultra Marky Mark Marky Mark was extremely effective because there was other people whom they tortured and they demonstrated this kind of aggressive attitude, reminded this kind of attitude. They reminded me of this kind of attitude, aggressive attitude, how I have to start punching somebody. And of course, uh, the target was domestic violence uh, without even stopping and they played on this ticket the people from the village the psychiatrists the police they have him rehearse to me they have him remind me of that kind of stuff for maybe about six years at least from 95 and this until like 2001 2002 then this marco berger the son of miroslav berger became afraid because what they were trying to do to me as for domestic violence it never came out of me i always had ability to exceptionally control myself i could do something like challenge you back i would uh, but i knew where the border is i knew where the limit is and if you wanted to go psycho i um, actually always did contributed loaded a little bit more to get more of the cycle from you but i always knew my limits that's the way it is i did this stuff i am not gonna hide 
uh, facts uh, implicated in this case that I was not I was not the person that would that that would just easily back down. If you wanted to get psycho with me, I definitely help you out to be a psycho as much as possible. Just God forbid you put the hand on me or something like this. I never put hand on anybody, uh, and in return, the same thing. Uh, so that's all there is in respect to this stuff. Uh, this will be part always. You're not going to see me advocating my mommy anymore. I don't know what uh, she is going to have to explain to police about it all. Maybe she will have also amnesia. Maybe she will not remember absolutely anything. Uh, maybe they have other solutions prepared. Uh, but that's exactly the last time that my mommy and me had another argument. It will not happen anymore. It was it was it for me and my mom. I am not saying that I would not want to have my mother at home, my father at home. I do. That's why I go to visit my father. Uh, I just want them to understand that I am here to help. I am here to assist. I am here to just basically do the same thing as if they were not my father and if they were not my mother and if they were not my family but just somebody that was with me throughout my life basically somebody who did pay bills somebody who did uh, make sure that I would at least have something that I could put on my shoes even that it was really used to advance themselves, build themselves homes, houses, buy themselves cars, load themselves with the monies, buy themselves guns, fishing equipment, all kinds of shitty shit stuff. Uh, wonderful life really on one end. Uh, envy me basically the life savings which I have used to from United States which I've used basically to pay myself for the food and a fucking place to stay in. It's just repulsive, disgusting but alright sometimes the parents are like this the thing is that I am not going to have nothing out of my mommy rotting inside of the jail or my father uh, rotting somewhere else or in the jail or whatever the case might be. I rather have them at home as for what I'm concerned. They can do their stuff on the garden. I hoped I would rehabilitate my father so that he could have another 20 years of fishing. The thing about it is, you know, um, like everybody else, just like myself, they're going to have to do their stuff. I did the bidenomics uh, and they're going to have to answer some questions to police. But they will have to answer them. What I hope will prevent, I will just uh, demand to be done. I can't afford this kind of stuff. I'm going to play you this audio one more time uh, and that's about it. Oops, it's not over yet. I told her you even cut the cherry tree, basically. She is yelling, she's screaming something that, uh, I don't know, that I have to buy my own food and such. I thought, even the cherry tree, I told her, even the cherry tree you did chopped down, so I could not have cherries. Uh, for this season, for this year, uh, that's also interesting. 
they told me there will be absolutely no cherry, there will be absolutely nothing on the tree. My mom even told me during MK Ultra that even if there would be something that she would go and destroy, rip apart. Police officers guaranteed me that in the neighboring stream here, it's called the Grabenski Potok, uh, stream Graben, like a little rivulet, Graben, uh, there would be no fish that year. Uh, they claimed me they have catch all the fish out and even poisoned the stream. The thing is that I couldn't have... I've, I was walking along the stream. I haven't seen a fucking single fish. Oh, this is amazing, boy. The hatred that these people... It's enough, listen, it's enough that you tell the person like this. The words are more poisonous than, you know, even actions sometimes. This is... I don't find any words for this. I told her, no, I already said this, I repeat the same thing, you cut the cherry tree down, even this. I told her, eat yourself, eat yourself. Hear this, I don't want to miss something. Oh. As for my mother, my mother always managed to get the worst out of me. This is the same shit as if you would be with a domestic criminal. I mean, as if you would leave somebody that like he would be in a fucking prison like in a jail she always managed to pull the worst out of me the thing is that she was a natural talent they didn't have to work much on it but when they started to work on her boy and they created state-of-the-art that i'm not going to use some kind of expression here people like my mother i have seen inside of the South Florida Treatment Evaluation Center where I worked as a surveillance system operator. I was employed basically inside a psychiatric hospital when in United States of America. I've seen people like this and that's one of the reasons why I refused to get myself into issues with her because practically I pretty much know where she's coming from. It's not okay. I am going to play this one more time. The original audio will be below. And translate it to you quickly the whole thing. Hi, mommy. Uh, good morning, mom. How are you? How come you're not sleeping? My mom says, what? I said, how come you're not sleeping? You know, it's five o'clock in the morning. No, it was not five o'clock in the morning, but if I say 20 minutes after five o'clock in the morning, 15 minutes after five o'clock in the morning, I am absolutely not exaggerating. She says, at any time, it will be six in the morning. As I stated, I didn't want to have any kind of altercation, confrontation, anything like this. I told her, my health improved tremendously. You know, the cherries that I purchased, the two jars of cherries I purchased the day earlier, is what I'm talking about. You know, the cherries I purchased? 
because of those chairs basically is what I'm trying to tell her is what my health have improved I said to her it saved me those two cherries those two jars of cherries I purchased and I ate it saved me I told her I went I went to the Hofer store yesterday mom I went to the Hofer store I went to the boat stores and I purchased cherries and I was very careful I said I went to the boat stores in the novel Mr. Hofer in the novel mesto and I said in the novel mesto because the police literally instructed me to go to Trebnia to go to Bela Kraina to go to Kershko to go to Brezice to go even to Tsele and Ljubljana if they don't have it because it would be so crucial so important for me to have what you see right there with literally using store employees in the city of the novel mesto from Hofer who would post next to them and claim me we will put them on the shelves only before you get inside of the store especially because you know they told me store employees people buy them immediately uh, and that's what police went on uh, we don't even get those we have agreement with the people employed literally with the workers from the Hofer store and then you can hear my mom because of what I'm concerned you could buy them a hundred I eat only whatever grows at home whatever is that you are buying you're going to be paying for yourself uh, for my money uh, you're not going to be buying not for 50 and not for a hundred I told her okay okay I told her eat yourself hey you even went ahead and you cut the tree down there is a blueberries out there you're gonna bother me you dick you yeah she called me names and such a stuff too I told her eat yourself that's it she calls me names all kinds of stuff I tell her even the tree you chopped down I am in the kitchen I'm not with her over there we are exchanging all the words through the doors I don't want to be there I just go away from there she says I don't have to eat myself you have to okay so that's pretty much the end of it um, this is all there is below you're gonna see me I'm gonna post one more time I'm gonna post uh, the audio separately but that's about it